is Andrea here and welcome to the first page of our Once Upon a Time 8x8 mini album. We are using the Once Upon a Time stack by DCWV and you should be able to find this at Joann's or Joann's Online or HSN for sure because that's where I got mine from. Okay. Let's go on to our first page. So our first page is always the inside cover. So this is always going to be considered page one. If you watch the uh, videos, you'll, you'll notice this is always page one. What you're going to need for page one are two, let's get the measurements here, Two five and a half by seven and three quarters flips. And you're going to put one at the top and then one at the bottom. So that was five and a half by seven and three quarters. Then you're going to need, let's see, one, two, three. four, five, six, seven, eight. You're going to need eight small flips and the sizes for these are four and a half should be by six. Four and a half by six and you're going to score at one half on those and score at one half on the larger ones. Before you put your two large ones down, down you're going to put your flips down. You're going to need eight of these flips, and we're going to put our flips down, and they're going to be centered on the page, and they're going to face going this way. All right, so let's get this down. I'm going to speed up this process, but still show it to you. Okay, be right back. Okay, I hope that wasn't too hard to uh, follow. I did have to rip out a page and then put it back in, um, but y'all know me. I do all my mistakes on camera so that you can learn from them. <clears throat> so I went on ahead and put in our top flip here and our bottom flip here. What you're going to want to do, and we will get to in a little bit, is cut out paper that will go from here to here and from here to here to cover this space and then all of this space here. So it could be the same paper or different pieces, it's up to you. All right, but we do need magnets and I am going to go ahead and put down uh, four magnets, two on the top and two on the bottom because I want this to be able to handle any photographs that go in here. And these can hold four by six photographs, excuse me, or a little smaller. That's why we made them four by six flips. And then they just turn like a, a book in a page, or pages in a book is what I meant to say. <laughs> All right, so let's start with our magnets over there. I just need my tape. Okay. And my scissors. Okay. Pull that up for right now. I'll put this one here and this one about the same distance and width from this side and the top. Okay, I'm just eyeballing it, so if you want to measure it, go right ahead. All right. Let me 
take our other magnet we put those on top and you're going to take a little piece of tape a little tiny piece and these are going to go onto the back of those magnets like so so they can grip this page here <clears throat> excuse me so let's release the backing of the little tape here and here okay we'll flip this down and that is going to keep it nice and secure for us that's why we want two magnets on here. Now I just put tape on top of these so that they don't slip around or accidentally come off. Okay. All right. So that way we don't forget our magnets. Next thing you want to do is decorate your flips. And I have already cut out paper to fit my flips. And there are a lot. There are 16 uh, of these you need to cut out. And these, depending on how thick of a border you want, I'm not going with that thick of a border. But these are five and three quarter by three and three quarter. Or is it four and a quarter? No, three and three quarter. So five and three quarters by three and three quarters. That's what all of these are. Except for the big ones for the two flips here. Those are. seven and a half by four and three quarters and you're going to need four of these because you have the front and the inside and the front and the inside and I chose this paper which is why all of this kind of looks like it all right so let's do our inside pages our inside flips first I do have these numbered Number one, it's right here. I use the Xyron to stick mine down. You can use score tape or glue, whatever you want. I'm gonna show you here. I put a piece of um, white paper in between these so I cannot go over the border that I created to make these. So you, you may want to do the same thing, but if you have better eyesight than me, don't worry about it. So I actually have to cut from the top. There's number two. Okay, so we have one and two. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish these off and I will fast forward for that. And then um, we'll be right back.
Okay, we are now ready for placing our strips here and here and then putting a piece here. And I went to my scraps from all this paper here and um, you can too. This piece might work perfect for right in here. Uh, you'll have as many scraps as I do here if you cut them the same as I did. Okay, put that back. Let's hang on to this. I want to do my top and my bottom strip first. And I'm going to use this one. So let's get this. Get the other light on. Grab us a pencil. on the side here and it's going to go from here and you want to leave a little space in between here you don't want this to be uh, in the way of your flips and then we're going to mark that right there and right here Cut that down. Uh -oh. I don't know how I keep doing that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's get this down. be enough to cover this in here and that brings this blue line down and across giving some continuity there that's why we want the other half of this piece to go on this side Right there. Perfect. All right. Hang on to those scraps that are left because you might need it for something else. Right now, Let's go ahead and get this piece cut down because it's going to go right here. We're going to leave a little bit of a gap on both sides. There we go. I think I'll just cut it down just a hair here. Not too much. Just a little tiny hair. Okay, and then our bottom piece. Perfect. All right. So 
So now I want to ink these up. And we'll get some tape on there. that one okay so I'm gonna tape these up and I'll be right back Alright, so we are all taped up and ready to go. Let's start with our sides and top, or our top and bottom. A little base right here. here. Make sure to keep away from that score line. Otherwise, your top will not fold properly. Nice. Perfect. Let's go ahead and turn our book. Let's get this one. Done. Same for this side, be careful of your score line. There we go. Oh, nice. Now we have this piece that's going to go right in here. Looks like it's going to fit perfect, too. yes awesome okay so this is our page one which is called far far away I love how it turned out those magnets magnets are holding up really really nice 
I do have some decoration to do that I would like to do on maybe a couple of these flips. But I think for the most part, we're ready to move on to page two. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please leave us a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll be glad to answer them for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Have a great one. Bye.